What's up, everybody? Your boy Supreme Decisions here, and yes, I am sporting one of the Supreme Decisions shirts. Got the black, yeah, yeah, gotta keep it right. Don't forget, get your shirts. Hit that like button as you come in, and you know, subscribe if you haven't. It's free. Shirts not, subscription is. Now, what I want to talk about today is something that I found. It was one of the things I guess I had the most in the uh, the most issue doing initially and it's getting evidence introduced now when you're going into trial trial is generally a scary part because you got wadir that you just picked and that's picking your jury you picked your alternate you're going through your strikes and all of the challenges and all those good things you ask the questions that need to be asked so you can start painting your picture but here's what detail actually comes into play because here's where your story not your side gets told and a lot of times people try to figure out how to have something presented to a jury how to have something put on the record such as an affidavit which I advise nobody to ever introduce simply because once you introduce your side such as an alibi you now have to prove your alibi. So now, how do I get certain things that a police officer says, certain things that a prosecutor says, certain things that happen at the scene, how do I get the evidence introduced? You do it through proper questioning. The biggest part of that is you never ask a question that you don't have answers to. And you can repeat an answer because that requires confidence and listening. Remember that one more time. It requires confidence and listening. You have to be able to listen and decipher what is being said to introduce, to paint the picture that you're looking to have painted. Now, it's an art form to doing this. This is why I go deeper into this in the master class. So if you haven't signed up for it, this is where it needs to start because again we're going for it and we're getting deeper we're going to get better we're gonna have some more exclusive lives but right now we are figuring out what to do here because a lot of times you're gonna have somebody that gets on the stand and they testify to what they've written already so a lot of times police officers going to testify to what he or she wrote down in their police report something that they wrote down in their scene report. These are things that can have evidence that was not turned over into discovery brought up because now, just as I've always stated, the accuser has to prove, just as you do if you provide an alibi, what they are saying. Because if it doesn't have evidence to back up their saying, it is hearsay and you should request that it's stricken from the record. So just keep that in mind. Listening to what's being said, offering a presentation to paint your picture, to get evidence introduced that you may or may not have gotten, or even your affidavits, which is not really advised, to get your picture painted for the jury. A lot of popping on there. Now, that's all I got for right now. Don't forget, grab your t-shirts got another surprise for you guys too continue to support the podcast and don't forget join the tier supreme you know what it is ah!